What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Mav where we do everything outdoors. My name's Maverick and today I'm gonna be doing something special. I'm gonna be taking my truck across water and going truck camping. So I've got a little bit of a drive ahead of me. Uh, I'm going to a small town in Wisconsin. I gotta meet in the harbor, catch a ferry, and go out to one of the biggest islands that Lake Superior has to offer. All right, I think we came to the right spot. All right, so there's the ferry that I gotta take to get across the lake. Looks like some people are coming back to mainland. It's not a very long ride, so I don't think we have much to worry about. Um, we are gonna be surrounded with ice though, and I'm honestly still surprised this ferry is still running. Right now there's probably about three inches of ice on this part of the lake, um, which is kind of unusual for this year. Had a very warm winter here in the Midwest, but I guess that gives me the opportunity to do things that I normally wouldn't do. So we're gonna get on this ferry, bring the truck, and uh, gonna do some truck camping on an island. All right, so we've officially made it onto Lake Superior, the largest body of fresh water in the United States, and there's a lot of ice. So there's nine boats, I believe, in this Madeline Island fleet. Only two of them can break ice, so I'm on one of the two today. It's Saturday, so I guess it's been pretty busy, but I luckily got my very own ferry. Madeline Island is the biggest island in the Apostle Islands, um, the south shore of Superior, if you're not familiar. It is 13 miles long and it has a lot of history so it's going to be interesting to see if I can find a place to camp there. There's a lot of state parks, a lot of patrolling, um, so I'm not really sure how it's going to look but I've always wanted to try this and it's been, on my, it's been on my list for a while so I'm glad I'm finally doing it. So in a couple of weeks this ice is actually going to lock up too much and this ferry is not going to run anymore so I really wanted to get on the ferry before, uh, before that happened. I will be able to drive out there later but it's not the same. I think that taking this ice ferry is pretty uh, second to none. All right, well, we made it to Madeline Island. Um, yeah, there was about 15 people waiting and it looked like they're a part of something called the Polar Rally. So, I don't know, I have any, I wonder if any of my viewers do that. That was pretty sweet. They had a lot of, a lot of jacked up trucks and uh, I don't know, some cool cars. So if you guys are part of the Polar Rally or if you know what it is, let me know. But yeah, we've made it to our destination. We're safe on dry land. This is the, uh, the famous outdoor bar. It looks like a bunch of junk, but Looks a lot different in the summer. Doesn't look so fun right now. So it's not really looking like there's much here for parking. I just did see a small park that I could maybe get away with sleeping at. Um, the one thing I am really worried about is dealing with state park officers or just park rangers in general. I know there's public campsites. I really doubt they're open in the winter but I guess those would be a good bet to park at for the night. So it is a pretty big island. I am gonna go check out the other side of it. Um, right in the middle, it looks like there is the largest state park of the island. Might be able to see something cool there, but I think I will end up coming back to town for the night. Or not, I guess we'll see. Maybe I'll find something really cool out here, but. All right, so even though this island is 13 miles long, apparently there's only one town and we just drove through it. So so I've been driving for about 15 minutes now. Um, I'm about halfway and I'm gonna stop at a state park. 
Well, looks like I might have found my solution or last resort. Cool. And here's my favorite part about being out here. Well, okay, just pretend like that said no service, all right? So there's this uh, little trail here going down to the beach. I don't really know how far this goes, but yeah, I definitely don't think I'm gonna be able to camp here. Um, on the drive in, I saw the campsites that they were talking about at the beginning, and uh, they had some nice closed signs on them and had about three, uh, I wouldn't go as far as saying three, I'd say two, two to two and a half feet of snow <laughs> covering them, so. squirrels up there. <laughs> They're going crazy. There is a lot of red squirrels here. Holy cow. So although I've been on the island before, I've actually never been to this park. Um, I've never been anywhere besides town, so figured I'd use my hour of daylight wisely and go on a little walk before I get in the back of the truck for the night and cook some dinner. Water is so clear. To be honest with you, I thought this was going to be frozen over. So if you watched my last video, you know that I just moved to uh, northern Wisconsin. Um, I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere now. Um, moved into an apartment with Hannah. I'm uh, getting used to a new community as well as getting settled into a new apartment. The last few weeks, I guess I've felt a little rushed and scatterbrained with my content. I have about four videos on the backlog right now. Um, a couple more with Dave and a few other things up here in Wisconsin. But I just didn't really feel comfortable in posting them for some reason. Um, a lot of it is fishing oriented stuff. I did a couple catch and cooks. Um, one catch and cook at the tent. Being in a new place, having some time for myself are all important things to me. I'm gonna get videos done for every Thursday. If I get a bonus video, um, it'll probably be uploaded on Sundays, but I just wanna be able to promise you and myself that I'm gonna get a quality video up every Thursday. I need to take a step back and feel inspired because, you know, it's been almost a year now on YouTube and I'm just trying to figure out what directions I can go with my channel. I, I like the camping stuff. Um, and it seems to be that that is the stuff that really helps my channel grow. That's what helped diversify myself from um, a lot of other YouTubers right at the beginning and it continues to give my channel growth. So I just don't wanna be a person that tries to you know, film every aspect of my life because I also need some personal time. Um, as much as I love my job and I love what I do, you do need some time um, for yourself every now and again. So. Also, um, I get a lot of comments on this jacket. When you're dealing with weather consistently that's negative 20 degrees Celsius, um, you need a good coat. And there's not really many other jackets that are as insulated as a Canadian Goose. Um, I don't really know what else to say to that. Lots of just nasty comments. Well, lots of good ones, but a few nasties. I guess uh, keep them coming though. It's really nice. Sorry to go on a big rant there, but I figured it's just fair to let you guys know what's going on in my life and where my head's at. Um, I don't want to keep things in the dark. I don't want to, you know, tell white lies about aspects of my life because then I have to spend time covering those up or finding, thinking of ways to talk about how to cover those up. And that's just not, that's not what I'm about. Um, I've, I've seen that time and time again with other YouTubers and I just don't, I don't want to deal with that. So, thought I'd come clean. Um, what you see is what you get on this channel. What I will tell you is no matter uh, what jacket you have, if you're not wearing a hat, your ears get cold. So, I'm going to go back to the truck right now. I'm going to try to find a spot to hang out for a while, cook, cook up some food, and then eventually find a spot to sleep. 
All right, well, we're back at the truck. Before it gets too dark out, which it's going to in about 20 minutes, I'm gonna cook up some dinner. And we're probably just going to start this one for warmth. All right, so on the menu tonight is uh, some Spicy Szechuan beef and broccoli. Um, it's gonna be a low carb meal tonight because I thought I had rice and I definitely don't. So hopefully this is uh, gonna be tasty. It already smells pretty good. I gotta get my meat in there. one do your thing that was a lot of sauce look at that goodness that looks pretty good for just a couple of ingredients thrown together if I uh, do say so myself see if this really turned out thinking that my broccoli is probably a little underdone that's okay yeah not too bad not bad at all you want a bite You know, I thought that broccoli was going to be undercooked, but it's perfect. A little crunchy, I guess, but not as undercooked as I would have thought. Mm -mm -mm. Whew. That was good. Grab that. I don't know how that made it down there, but it did. Put that in my pocket. Alright, Madeline, this means war. This means war. Campsites closed. So I just got back from the local pub. Um, I got myself a tour to Dale, met some new friends, Mike and Dick, and they let me know about a little spot on the island where I can camp. So this is like a apartment complex or some sort of living quarters where there's some communal parking. One of the only spots that I've noticed on the island where there's like just a parking lot with cars in it. I've driven over half of the island and I haven't seen anything like this. I don't really want to park in a spot where I'm going to be the only car there. There are apparently police officers that patrol here pretty heavily, uh, according to, to the two locals. They look for people that are camping out, so I don't think I have much to worry about because I'm in a truck. This little spot, you can see all the cars. Um, I backed up to the other truck behind me, so when I turn my light on in the back, um, I'm not shining in the apartment complex and making it obvious that I'm in the back. Um, I'm gonna grab my propane heater, get the back nice and warm, um, fill up a jug full of water, and uh, get in back and get ready for bed. All right, let's get out of here and make it as fast as possible.
Yeah, what I forgot about. I broke that window, remember? Yeah. Uh, I did bring something for that, though. Give me one second. So from doing some DIY projects inside at the apartment, we had some foam. Hannah and I were sealing up some windows um, that we were painting. And with old windows, there's gaps. And I definitely have a gap in uh, this old window. So seal this up here as best as we can. It's obviously not going to be perfect. And I don't have enough foam. But it'll also give me some ventilation. Now if I was really thinking, I would have opened up my truck cab window and I would have had access to the uh, to the cab. But I don't think very often. I was considering starting that heater, seeing that I'm already warm. I don't know if I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to get the shoes off and get in bed here. Sleeping bags, I always put them on the wrong way. I think I put it on the wrong way. Yeah. Uh, Alright, well. Get a little look outside. A couple other cars around here. It's very... It's very quiet here. Besides me. I'm a loud guy. It is pretty chilly outside. Um, but I'm not going to spark up the heater yet. Right now it's negative six degrees here and it's supposed to get down to negative nine. So my, so my mentality with putting the propane heater out was that I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it and have to get out and grab it. So it'll sit out here. I do have a carbon monoxide detector if I do decide to use it. If you are gonna camp with a propane heater Please be safe and use a carbon monoxide detector. All right, well, hopefully I don't get discovered here. And hopefully see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Alright, so it's 6.44 in the a.m. And it's negative 8. Cool. I'm gonna get out of bed. <sighs> Brush my teeth, make some coffee. There's a public restroom right down here. I'm gonna go see if it's open. Well, my truck warms up. It is not warm out right now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm hoping this thing has got some heat in it. Well, if the uh, sign was an indication enough, the three and a half feet of snow in front of it. Also, we'll let you know that the public restroom isn't open, so I'm gonna have to find a different option. Thinking good old nature. Unfortunately, that looks like it's all we're going to get for a sunrise. Just a little burning in the sky this morning. I just drove around most of the island trying to find a spot where the sun was actually showing, and uh, it's just a little too cloudy out. So I'm going to continue on with my morning routine and make some coffee.
not a lot of places I could have gotten by truck camping last night. So I'm feeling pretty good about my decision that I made. Ice is all the way to the shorelines here, but it's not completely locked in. You can actually, if you listen really closely, you can hear it crackling. This is the water's moving it closer. This body of water is crazy. Um, also a good way to warm up. It's the nice cup of joe. Um, Timmy Hortons, to be exact. Thanks again, Yvonne. Mm. This week I'm going to work on getting a P.O. box again. Um, I canceled my one back in Minnesota just because I'm not going to be there often enough to check. Alright, so let's get back to the truck. Let's get off this island and we're, uh, we're not closing this thing out until we're back on mainland because I am not getting stuck on this island. As beautiful as it is, I am not getting stuck on it. made it back. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode of MAV. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more stuff like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of cooking, sleeping out of my truck, camping. Um, but yeah, this is uh, something that I've been wanting to do for a while and I hope that each and every one of you gets a chance to do something like this. Um, my challenge for you this week is to at least enjoy a couple hours outside, whether you have to do your homework or study outside or go on a hike with one of your parents or uh, a sibling. But, but thank you guys again so much for tuning in and the continued support. Until next time, my name is Maverick, and you don't know the drill, just keep on trucking.